Howdy. Welcome to our workshop about employing media in online courses. Today, we have a professor joining us. Thanks for coming today. On the contrary, thanks for the invitation. So let me start by asking why should we use media in online learning? Great question. Including multimedia in online courses can bring richness and a variety to the learning experience. I see. Is there a specific media that you would recommend? It depends on the purpose of instruction. For example, videos, audio files, narrated PowerPoint, and of course animated graphics like this video are just a handful of choices. When should we use media? It should be used only when it enhances the student's learning. But when does that happen? The evidence comes from students, either in performance improvement, or in level of enjoyment. You should never include media just because you can or think it is cool. If you are asking for feedback at the end of the course, which hopefully you are, then you can ask them directly. The students are your best source of feedback. Yes. Sometimes we assume that presenting information in a media format will automatically increase interest in the topic, thus making it easier for them to learn. I know. In fact it can be quite the opposite. When used inappropriately, media can actually distract students from the content you are trying to deliver. How do we know if we are using media inappropriately? Ask yourself these questions. Does using the media clarify the concept? Does it provide a deeper understanding of content? Does it accommodate multiple learning styles? Does it add a personal touch? Those are really useful questions. Tell me, what are the benefits of multimedia? First it adds learner flexibility. Students can control the pace of instruction delivered in a media format. They can review the media by stopping, starting and ruining. Right. That is exactly what they can do with this video graphic animation. Yes. And media can be created using software like Camtasia for video, Flash for interactive tools, and Inspiration for concept maps. In one presentation you can accommodate multiple learning styles. How does it benefit the instructor? Instructor flexibility. If media is serving the purpose that it should, the instructor should be able to spend less time answering questions about the content and more time on activities that require feedback and participation. For example, participating in forums, grading assignments and so on. So, there are great advantages for both students and instructors. Yes. It is just a matter of knowing when and why to use media. Well, thanks for your comments, and for illustrating the way we can use media. Thanks to you and have a great day you all.